A GIF is a great way to quickly send funny and uplifting content to your friends and colleagues. And something that makes it even better is text added onto them. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make this happen, including some bonus features, so stay tuned. We're gonna use Veed's online video editor for this. So to get started, type in Veed.new in your browser or click on the first link in the description. So now we're in Veed's editor and we're prompted to upload our video. So I'm gonna click on upload a file and select the video I wanna turn into a GIF. I'm gonna click on this video and click on open. So after a moment, the video is imported and this is just a video of my cat casually stretching herself. So first things first, I wanna change the aspect ratio of this video, I wanna make it a square. So to make this happen, head over to settings and then on the size, you can select the dimensions you like. In this case, I wanna make it a square, so I'm gonna click on square. Then you can hover your mouse over the video within the video canvas and use the side and corner options to resize and relocate the video. You can also click on fill the canvas to make the video fit. So next thing I wanna do is trim the GIF. So I'm gonna head over to the bottom timeline and click and drag on one of the sides to extend and shorten it. In this case, I wanna capture the moment where she's stretching. So yeah, <laughs> this is the part. So I'm gonna use the play it and let it rest right around here. And then again, I'm gonna click and drag on the side to shorten the video. Then I'm gonna trim the ending as well and I'm gonna move the entire clip to the left. So next thing I wanna do is spice the GIF up by adding some text. To make this happen, head over to text in the left menu, choose one of the presets or just select headline title for instance. And now you can start editing the text. You can click and drag the text around within the video canvas. You can resize it from here. And also you can change the text in the text box on the left. I'm gonna change this to good morning. There you go. And on the text style, you can change the font, the sizing, you can even upload your own font. You can change the color. And if you click on more options, you can also change the background. So in this case, I'm gonna select Poppins as a font and I'm gonna add a background to it or a back shadow. I'm gonna click on block and I'm gonna make this yellow. Then I'm gonna reposition it to the bottom. I'm gonna click and drag it to the bottom and I'm gonna use the side and corner options to reshape it a little bit and put it in the middle. To retime the text in the GIF, head over to the bottom timeline and click and drag on one of the sides to extend and shorten it, just like we did with trimming. In this case, I wanna have it as its entirety. So next thing I wanna do is add an animation to the text, which is relatively new. So head over to animation in the text menu and you can add a fade, a slide to the right, a typewriter effect, a drop effect, whatever you like. In this case, I wanna select a typewriter. So let's have a look, let's restart the video. There you go, nice. So now next thing I wanna do, I wanna introduce you to video stock as well, which is new to Veed, but I wanna implement it into this GIF. So to make this happen, head over to media in the left menu. And as you can see, you can search between stock videos and stock audio. In this case, I wanna add a video to this. So I'm gonna search for something that has like a sunny vibe, a morning vibe. So I'm gonna search for sun, for instance and I'm gonna select this one. And after a moment, the video is loaded in and we can play around with it. In this case, I wanna trim it a little bit. And next thing I'm gonna do is select this clip and put it under the rest. Let's make it a little bit more accurate. I'm gonna click on fit and then make this smaller. So it's even, there you go. So obviously you can't see the clip right now, but I'm gonna do something very interesting to make it visible. We're gonna select the cat clip in this case and scroll down a little bit in the video edit menu. And then you can find chroma key, which is often used if you have a green screen, for instance. Clearly this is not a green screen, so it's gonna look very pixelated at first. So I'm gonna use the pen tool and select the color in the background to filter that specific color. I'm gonna select it. And now if I play back the video, as you can see, it's very pixelated, which is very normal because it's not a very flat color. So I'm gonna bump up the sensitivity a little bit so it should be less. I'm not gonna be able to delete it entirely or make it filter perfectly, but it's not the point. So I think it looks pretty decent at around 50. I'm gonna let it be. Obviously it looks a little bit clunky, but I think it adds to the effect that it's a GIF and I didn't use a green screen. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit because my hand is completely merged with the background. It's all about the stretching anyway. So there you have it. So to export your video or to export your GIF, head over to the right top corner, choose your preferred render settings. I'm gonna choose HD for now. We're gonna make it a GIF anyway. And then I'm gonna click on export video. And after the video is rendered, you can watch the video back on the left. And as you can see, a very funny and sunny GIF. Now, if you wanna download the GIF, head over to the download button, click on download GIF, and in a moment, it should be in your downloads folder. So that's how you add text to your GIF. I hope this video was helpful for you. Feel free to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more content like this. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck and have a nice day.